Welcome back to Tile 5 Auto Repairs. What happened when you overfill your automatic transmission with fluid? So how do you know your transmission is overfilled with transmission fluid? Here's an example. I have this dipstick and the vehicle is cold. It's in the morning right now. And I'm going to show you guys an example how you know it's overfilled. As you see over here, you have the cool and the hot side. So when you're checking the vehicle in the morning when the engine hasn't been started up the whole day, you're going to check on the cool side over here. You have the low side and the high side. As you can see, since the engine is cold, you can see the fluid is all the way, way past the hot side. Again, since this engine hasn't been started, again, this fluid is all the way this high. So it is definitely overfilled with automatic transmission fluid. If you have been driving your vehicle for a while, let's just say more than 10 minutes, that means the transmission is warmed up and the engine is warmed up. In that case, when you check on the dipstick, you're going to check on the hot side. So again, this is the hot over here. You have the low side and the high side. What if you accidentally overfilled your transmission with just a little bit of fluid? For example, here's the high side and here's the low side. Let's just say you accidentally overfilled it with about a quarter of an inch to about half an inch of automatic transmission fluid. In that case, if it's no more than half an inch overfilled above this uh, high side, you're okay. What if you accidentally overfilled your automatic transmission with, let's just say, two quarts of transmission fluid? Now, that's when you start to have some real problems. When a transmission is overfilled with transmission fluid, it's going to cause the planetary gears to start to whip up the uh, transmission fluid and it will cause the transmission fluid to aerate. In other words, it's going to become foamy. When a transmission fluid becomes foamy, it does not flow well inside the transmission. So what's going to happen is it's going to cause a lot of components inside the uh, transmission to start for transmission fluid. So when a lot of transmission components such as the valve body, shift solenoid, and so on, don't have the adequate automatic transmission fluid that it needs, it's going to cause all sorts of transmission performance issues. For example, you're going to notice a transmission light turning on, you're going to notice poor shifting, you're going to notice erratic shifting, delay shifting, the transmission slipping, and so on. The next common problem is going to be the transmission is going to be overpressurized due to the transmission uh, being overfilled with transmission fluid. When the automatic transmission internally is filled with pressure, all that pressure needs to go somewhere and it's going to find the uh, weakest weak point. For example, it's going to cause the seals and gasket to blow. When that happens, it's going to cause a major transmission fluid leak. When you see a puddle of transmission fluid on the floor, you should right away check your dipstick to see how much fluid is inside your transmission. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Water Repairs.